Did you know that one of the areas that continues to boom in crypto, despite the bear market, is philanthropy? That's right, according to data from The Giving Block, a US non-profit donation platform, the growth of crypto giving has outpaced the performance of the crypto market itself in recent years and projects massive growth in the future. So, to illustrate the impact of this growth, let's look at five instances when crypto donations made significant changes to the world. In fifth spot, we need to go back to 2018 for a story that shows how taking a risk sometimes pays off. Charles Best, the founder of DonorsChoose.org, an education fundraising site, emailed Ripple co-founder Chris Larson with a big ask. Best told a local paper that he, quote, dared himself to pitch an idea 10 times bigger than he'd ever pitched before, and that he, quote, was almost anxious that they would be offended by the ridiculousness of my ask. But offended they were not. In fact, Ripple responded with a whopping $29 million, which fully funded every single one of the 35,000 classroom projects listed on the platform at the time. That included library books and computers, field trips, microscopes, and uh, trombones for schools across America. At the time, it was the largest single virtual currency gift to a charity. Ripple said the donation reflected the gratitude they had for the teachers in their own lives. Truly heartwarming stuff. Now, this next story began as a Reddit post and ended with a stunning act of charity. An anonymous user, believed to be a Bitcoin whale and calling themselves Pine, launched a charitable initiative called the Pineapple Fund. The user wrote, quote, my aims, goals, and motivations in life have nothing to do with being mega rich. So I'm doing something else, donating the majority of my bitcoins to charitable causes. The fund concluded its donations in March 2018, with Pine feeling they had fulfilled their mission. By that date, Pine had gifted a staggering 5,057 bitcoin, worth around $55 million at the time of donation in December 2017, to 60 different charities. Those charities ranged from global health and poverty alleviation groups, such as the Against Malaria Foundation and Give Directly, to digital rights advocates like the Electronic Frontier Foundation, EFF, and the Open Privacy Research Society. One of the largest donations, $5 million, went to the Multidisciplinary Association for Psychedelic Studies, MAPS, for research on the use of MDMA to treat post-traumatic stress disorder. The fund also supported niche causes, including universal basic income projects and clean water initiatives. Nice work. Next, though, we turn to Ukraine. Just three days after Russia launched its invasion in late February 2020, the Ukrainian government began seeking cryptocurrency donations. To date, the influx of crypto to the government and aid agencies is reported to range between $100 million and $200 million. These donations have been primarily used to fund various relief initiatives, such as humanitarian aid, infrastructure and medical support, along with supplies for the military and civilian populations. Decentralized finance has allowed donors globally to bypass traditional financial institutions, making it easier to support Ukraine directly. Now, for context, crypto funds to the Ukrainian war effort pale in comparison with fiat donations from other countries, which are estimated to total more than 30 billion US dollars. However, it shows that cryptocurrencies are a valuable channel for rapid financing, and it has accelerated the legalization of cryptocurrency within the country's financial system. Crypto has provided an uncensorable means for individuals to make their own contributions to Ukraine's cause. In contrast, crypto funding to Russia appears to be pretty minimal. A report by Forbes suggests that this is partly due to US sanctions, which has made it very difficult to launder and off-ramp large amounts of cryptocurrency. Next, though, we head to the United States for a tale that echoes the broader trend of crypto philanthropy. Fidelity Charity, America's biggest grantmaker, has been a recipient of over $500 million in crypto donations since it began accepting cryptocurrencies in 2015. This is more than a milestone. It's reflective of a larger pattern. According to data from the Giving Block, 
crypto donations might even exceed an astounding $10 billion over the next decade. An impressive forecast indeed. And if you want to learn more about crypto philanthropy, including the tax advantages and the top charities, you can watch our dedicated video on the topic down there. Now, our number one spot goes to the India Crypto Relief Fund with a story that has become part of crypto folklore. In April 2021, in the midst of the worst days of the pandemic in India, Polygon CEO Sandeep Nailwal announced he was launching a COVID relief fund and called upon the global crypto community for support. The response was overwhelming. Cryptocurrency enthusiasts stepped up, contributing donations amounting to tens of thousands in USD. But wait, here's the real jaw-dropper. Ethereum co-founder Vitalik Buterin stepped up with a staggering donation of $1 billion in Shiba Inu tokens, thereby solidifying his place as the undisputed king of crypto philanthropy. And now, the reality check. These tokens, given to Vitalik without his agreement by SHIB's creator in a bid to gain legitimacy for the meme coin, amounted to less than $500 million in USDC upon conversion. And then came the red tape. Quote, Cashing out of an illiquid asset, complying with government regulations and getting the money to the right places, it isn't easy, said Sandeep at the time. Fast forward to a detailed analysis earlier this year, which revealed that nearly $100 million has been converted into fiat and only $58 million found its way to charities to combat India's COVID predicament. An additional $100 million was returned to Vitalik for his philanthropic endeavors, while $40 million sits in a Puerto Rican bank account. Sandeep, however, has pledged that the funds remaining in the account would be dedicated to, quote, upgrading healthcare in India. So, there you have it folks, five times crypto made a real difference in the world. But I would be remiss not to end this video without a dishonorable mention for FTX's charitable arm, the Future Fund. By the end of September 2022, the Future Fund had reportedly committed more than $160 million to over 110 non-profit organizations and had spent at least $132 million of that. In November 2022, the same day FTX filed for bankruptcy, the Future Fund suspended operations and said it was unlikely to honor its commitments to those awarded grants. These grants affect at least 20 researchers at top universities, including Cornell, Princeton and Brown in the United States and Cambridge in the UK, who received grants of more than $100,000 each. The full extent of this damage is not yet clear, but it has forced researchers at some top universities to drop out. But while the FTX debacle serves as a cautionary tale, the stories I've shared today are testament to the fact that, when harnessed correctly, the power of crypto to do good in the world is immense and will only increase in line with further adoption. Turns out crypto's not all about degens trading meme coins and shadowy supercoders after all. Thanks everyone for watching. Please do like and subscribe and check out our deals page below and I'll see you all very soon.